Hello everybody, my name is Aaron and I'm going to show you how to use power over Ethernet on any device, period, even if it doesn't support power over Ethernet. And we're going to do all of this for free. Alright guys, this is what the finished product looks like. I'm going to walk you through it. First of all, a few disclaimers. I'm not going to be responsible for any of your garbage, so don't mess up. Also, if you're already running legit P over E on this Ethernet cable that you're going to be utilizing, do not use this method. You will cook your device. So if you're not comfortable with anything you see in this video, do not do it. Other than that, let's get started. I'm just gonna jump right into it. For this example, I'm using a camera. That's what most of power over ethernet needs are anyways. This particular camera does actually support P over E. The one in the picture does not because it's a different camera, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I attempted to make P over E run on this with my own home setup, but you need a 48 volt power converter, which nobody has. So I figured out how to do it without any of that jazz. Everything that comes in the box with a camera, you can use to do power over ethernet. The key point is you need your power supply, you need your ethernet cable, and I'll tell you what I'm doing here in a second. And then, it would be preferable to have a connector bit, but unnecessary. So let's get started. Ethernet cable has eight pins. As displayed on this female connector, there's an A and B configuration. Power sent over ethernet goes on pins eight, seven, five, four. And thus does not matter if you're in the A or the B configuration because those pins don't change. Ground is brown, brown, white, and positive is blue, blue, white, and that's all you need to know. So in order to do this, I'm using a separate female, female connection, because then that means that I can use um, this power over ethernet solution with any ethernet cable and not just the one that was provided in the box. So what are we gonna do? Well, we're going to take your five volt power supply that came with the camera and we're going to splice it into the wire running on these pins that don't have any data or any transfer running over them. And these pins then run down the cord and on the other side, we will splice it into your power plug and pop it into the camera right out of the ethernet. Brilliant, super simple um, because the pins aren't being utilized at all in regular data transfer. So we can play with these pins all we want. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the end piece. We're gonna work backwards. So what connects to the camera? Let's start with that. Okay, so what have I done? I've hacked off the end of the power cord because you weren't actually gonna use it anyways if you were to have a real P over E solution. So hack off the end of the power cord. So this is the plug that goes into the back of the camera. Why aren't we focusing? There we go. Now that you got to figure out what's positive and what's negative. The dotted line is positive. The either completely white or completely black line is negative. Dotted line's always positive. The outside of this is negative and the inside of it down, see that circle in there? That's positive. So we're going to wire these onto our pins. So blue is positive and brown is negative. I'm going to solder that right now. All right, so there's my pins and they're soldered. You don't actually have to solder. You can just twist and tape. But because this camera is going in a high production environment and it needs to be up, I'm going to be um, soldering for sure. So I got the dotted on the blue and uh, the solid on the brown. So let's go to the other end of this where the power is going to be served up. Okay, so here's the other end where we're gonna be serving up our power. Once again, the reason why I'm using this female to female is because now I can put it on any cable and my length doesn't matter. Whereas if I put the power injection right onto this um, cable, I only have the four feet to the camera, five feet to the camera, and then that's as long as my cable gets because I'd need to have this plugged into a wall somewhere. Does that make sense? So I strip back the wires and we're going to put it on this female to female. This is the camera side. This is the switch side or the uh, router side, depending on your setup. Here's the kicker. I pulled off my, my uh, brown and blue, which we're using. 
The kicker is we don't want to push power backwards into the switch side. That would be bad. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, I disconnected the pins here. So there's no power going this way, but there is power going this way. Okay. Um, the same if you're just going to use a single cable. Make sure you don't send any power back out the other end. You want to break it and only use this end of the wire to send the power. So how are we going to send the power? Exact same way we dealt with it last time. And we're going to solder the pins together, positive and negative. All right, so here's the deal. It's all done. I taped it up. I got the solder done. Basically, what we're doing is turning your Ethernet cable into a glorified extension cord. Here's what the back of the camera looks like. Okay, all taped up, ready to go. Uh, we're gonna give this plug, we're gonna plug this in and give it a go. So let's get started. Boom, just plugged it in. And as you can see, there is power. And when we go over to the laptop to double check, refresh. Ah, it's totally working. So there it is, guys. Thank you for watching. That is P over E that works on any device, period. Yeah. If you want to see more, hit up the channel. Thanks for watching. Ciao.